Trey, is that you? I'm here for every visit. He doesn't want to go. Your children need stability, and at the moment, we haven't seen enough. What more do you need to see? We did a lot of research beforehand that kind of spanned, honestly, throughout the world. It was looking at um, experiences within the U.S. in terms of how people are dealing with the foster care system, what it was like. This is also a period piece, so it was what it was like in the mid-2000s. Um, but then we were also looking at kind of folklore throughout the world. Um, we were looking at what if how mothers are uh, treated throughout the world in terms of having their kids in the foster care system. It was really important for me to not only think about Gia's physical world, but also th think of her inner world as well. And sometimes that's really hard to articulate in dialogue or um, in a dramatic scene, and so I was hoping to explore her inner worlds through um, these kind of poetic sequences that tap into what it feels like to be in her body, you know, connecting to her baby, as well as um, her ancestors and the lineage of black women that came before her. I had initially put a bunch of reference music to the film, and then when Lou um, said that she wanted to do the project, it was like an instant connection. And um, so basically she initially did, you know, score based on those references and then brought in some amazing musicians like Moses Boyd and Brandy Younger. And um, they kind of improvised over different elements of the score. And so it was very fluid and she has to do it in like four weeks, which is incredible. Um, so, yeah, it was, it was really inspiring how she managed to do that. Imagine lowering yourself into the earth, the people around you supporting you. You two have a beautiful family. Thank you. Yeah. I'd hope people walk away thinking about it, resonating with it, and um, asking questions not only to the people that they went to the movie theater with, but also to themselves. I'm hoping they kind of strip away some judgment that they walked in the theater with. Um, I challenge them to walk beside Gia and experience her world as she's going through it in this film. My whole life, I had shit taken away from me. They try to take our culture. They try to take our homes, try to take our freedom. And you know they'll try to take our babies too. Same shit that's happening to us right now, happened to your mama, happened to my mama, and it happened to day mamas. That's exactly why we can't stop fighting for our kids, G. It's our God-given right to have our kids. And I don't want you to allow anybody to convince you otherwise. Thank you.